Hi guys, in today's video I want to do my empties for January. Um, it's fairly fruitful month, it actually managed to stack them all in the basket so they actually look pretty. Oh, they did, they did look pretty, now they've all fallen over. Um, I haven't separated these into products already. Um, so I've got a few things that I got in the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar that I have tried and then finished. I've got a few of my just standard things. Let me sort it into skincare. So we've got two makeup things, no, three makeup things in here, which are the L'Oreal Concealer and Eye Cream, which I seem to pretty much go through these once a month. I'm trying to use less so that I stop going through it. It has like this little sort of brush on the end sorry it's gross and dirty <laughs> and then you just twist it the product comes up um i love this eye cream i use it every day it is just the perfect consistency not too drying it's just the right color i love it i'll link the videos of all of these products <laughs> below um so yeah that is l'oreal concealer and eye cream i think it's about 10 pounds um this is my bb garnier um, BB cream that I use again every day. If you follow my channel, you'll know that this is my favourite and I've loved this forever and I will love it forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that. That's in the shade Light. Worth noting that the light shade in Oil Free is different to the light shade in Standard. So if you're looking for, if you think you're a similar skin, skin tone to mine, then get the Oil Free one in Light because the other one is much darker. Um, and my trusty Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm really sad that this has come to an end. I have got another one, but it's not got a lot more in it. It's like, this is as much as I could manage to scrape the barrel with. I just can't even get any more out of there anymore. I will be reordering this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously those other two, I will be reordering. This one I will be reordering, but it's quite expensive. So I'm sort of waiting. I don't know, I say I'm waiting for payday, but it's just been payday. <laughs> so I'll probably be reordering this imminently, basically. Um, so that's it for makeup. And then for skincare, no, I'll do hair care first. These, I somehow have managed to go through two of these in the month. I must have finished one right at the beginning of the month because I wouldn't normally buy more than two in a month. I often buy these if I'm having my, either if I'm going away, like on holiday, because it's quite a good sort of one size that, that will cover me for the entire holiday or if I've just had my hair dyed because I get my hair highlighted and directly afterwards it can feel quite sort of dry. Um, I do use Olaplex and stuff on it to stop it damaging my hair but it still feels a bit dry directly afterwards so having like a nice thick conditioner afterwards I find is useful. I try, I normally get the papaya one which is for damaged hair, 3-in-1 mask for damaged hair. And this banana one is for dry hair, which I thought I would try. And I like the smell. I like the smell of both of them. This one is quite a lot stronger a smell. Um, this one is, it's, they're both a nice smell. I just didn't find that this was as nourishing as this one. They're both still good though. I like the whole range, but these two are my favourite of the range. And this one is my favourite of the two. <laughs> so yeah, I will be reordering, but probably not straight away. I tend to go through phases of using my normal day-to-day -day conditioner that is the minimal one um, and then like a treat <laughs> mask every now and again basically. Um, so that's hair done. So other skincare products, I've got the Micellar Water, Garnier Micellar Water. This is actually with rose water, rose water all in one. I, I can't remember if I got this by accident or if I just saw it and thought I would try it. Um, and I actually really like it. It's just got a sm slight essence of like smell of rose water in it. It's supposed to be brightening because you know rose water is supposed to be good for you. Like sort of lots of rose things are good for you. Um, I would have ordered it again. I have just reordered the Garnier Micellar Water, the normal one, because this one was more expensive basically. And I think it was quite a lot more expensive. I don't know whether this was sort of a limited edition and that it's not as read readily available, so that's why it was more expensive. So I just went with the normal one. Once I've tried the normal one, if I feel like I've missed out on this one, then I will come back to it. But so far, it's much for muchness. It's nice to have the rose water, but I certainly didn't notice that it was any, you know, significantly better, basically. So that is that. Um, I've got my Dove soap that's pretty much in every single empties. I use this to wash my lady parts because it's soap free so it is good for sensitive areas. I have got some Beauty Pie um, body moisturiser here, it's the Super Dose Vitamin C 
Um, I really liked this actually. I bought a selection of body moisturisers at the same time. I found myself using this one every day, so I'm assuming that's because I liked it more. <laughs> the other one was like a um, something 360 and you have to be careful using it in sunlight, so that might have been why. I was just freely using this one instead. I really like the smell. It's, a, it's the same smell in the whole range and I really like that smell. I'm actually gonna do a video on like my favorite Beauty Pie products um, because I've been using them for six months now and I've bought loads of stuff basically. So I thought I would let you know what I thought of it all. Um, so yeah, that is that. I will reorder this, but I am guilty of not really moisturizing my body as much as I should do. Um, so it probably wouldn't be an urgent purchase um, as I've got some other body moisturizers that I'm using up but when I come to want to buy some more body moisturizer I will buy this one because I like it <laughs> um, what else have we got we've got from these I think are all from the look fantastic advent calendar I enjoyed that calendar so much and I think I might do a video of like all the favorite stuff that I've got out of it because I found some new amazing things out of it um, this is the ritual of Jing relaxing body scrub i did like this but not as much as i wanted to it did smell nice but again not as nice as i felt it should have done no i smell it though it does smell nice weirdly it's one of those where you come in when you come back into the bathroom after you've had a shower you're like oh it smells nice in here but when you actually get it to put it on you're not like oh that smells amazing like my go-to body scrub was always the lush rub 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 um and i really liked that one but I wanted something a bit more luxurious basically but so far none of them have really actually been any better than that <laughs> so I'll probably just go back to that so I don't think I would reorder this I suspect it's probably expensive and I didn't feel like it was it's one of those that's really like grainy and really oily like not dripping oil like solid oil almost like once you've rubbed it on yourself it feels nice but then you like feel like you have to wash your hands before you could touch your hair for example like it leaves oil on your body which is nice because it makes you feel nourished but it's also quite I don't know limiting like whereas the lush one is a bit more runny so you can sort of rub it over larger areas of yourself basically um so yeah I did like this but not as much as I wanted to and I would not reorder it, I don't think. But if I got it again in a Look Fantastic box, I would be pleased. Um, this is the Espa Body Wash. It's a positivity, positivity bath and shower gel. I actually surprised myself with how much I liked this. It really did lift my mood. I don't even know if that's what it's intended to do, but I would assume so, based on that. I can't even, the smell, like, it's not even that pleasant. <laughs> it's quite, it's like a spa smell, basically, like, as you'd imagine it would smell. And it's like, I can't, like, almost geranium -y. I always use that description, I don't know if that even means anything. But it's definitely got some, some, something in it that, like, did definitely lift my mood. The smell was pleasant, it lathered really well, like, this tiny little bottle actually lasted me over nearly two months um and yeah like it lathered really well i don't i was just using it with my hands and it definitely felt nice on my body and i would definitely reorder that i suspect it's probably quite expensive um <laughs> so i um yeah i'll have a look i've got a, again with the same with the body moisturizer i've got a lot of like shower gel type things that i'm in the process of using up so I will probably I will add it to my list of things that if I want a treat then I will will reorder it but I definitely would be happy to receive it again in another beauty box um next we've got the color wow color security shampoo I covered the conditioner of this in my last month's empty box and if you'll recall I wasn't that impressed and I'm not that impressed with the shampoo more so with the conditioner more so than the conditioner because this lasted longer than five minutes like, because I don't need I only need a small amount of shampoo but I do need a lot of conditioner so this conditioner lasted literally 30 seconds whereas the shampoo lasted slightly longer than that um this felt kind of drying though like a nut like a one of the those shampoos that like strip your hair of all sort of impurities or whatever um so it didn't feel like it was a color security 
so although it does say 100% clean and residue free so maybe it is supposed to be um, a sort of like stripping one but anyway I wasn't really that impressed I just would I wouldn't based on these two products go back and buy anything from Color Wow again just because it just I just didn't really rate it it was all right it wasn't bad it just wasn't good either <laughs> um, and the last thing I think is some retinol um, eye patches I think I might have done these in the last month's video as well I really like these patches because they are like um, like material, I don't know if you can see that, it's almost like sort of gauze strip or something, um, and they stick firmly to your face. <laughs> I've bought a few recently actually, I've also bought them from Beauty Buy under eye gel things, and I did a video the other day with the, um, these eye gel eye masks, and I really love them, I really enjoy doing that as part of my sort of self-care routine. It feels luxurious. I love it, basically. So I'll let you know how the Beauty Buy ones go. Um, but yeah, I definitely would reorder these because I like the fact that they stick so firmly to your face. Although I am sort of now coming around to the slippery gel-like ones because they feel more nourishing because they're slippery and gel-like. I've got another pair of these, so I'll see when I do those whether they feel actually any better or worse than the more slippery silicone ones. Um, so yeah, that is it for this month's empties. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks very much for listening. Good night.